here we are with episode 5 of Vermeer in Gold. And last episode we had some good bonding moments with um, Vermeer and Alto, where he basically asked her if she's just here because she wants his mana or not. And she's like, no, I'm here because I like you. Um, because Alto was a bit unsure about it. And then we got this professor also introduced who seemed like a nice guy at the beginning and then turned out to be a complete douche because he does experiments on students where their magic goes crazy and they fall into a coma and there are multiple cases already. And then at the end of the episode, we saw Rex beating up Chris, which probably is part of the experiment with his like booster T-Rex. So we will see how that goes. Um, but yeah, if you like what you see or if you want to support me, leave a like, subscribe or comment. I would really appreciate it and it would really help me. But yeah, let's get to the episode. Oh, it's familiar was an egg. <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> it's indeed a huge egg. Chris? Oh my god, she was so small. And... So they knew each other. This makes me wonder why she beats the living shit out of him. Because it seems like they got along. She's sparkling again. <laughs> of course she wants some dessert. Some sweets. She eats man up. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, her side booba. <laughs> oh, god damn it. <laughs> worth it. So worth it. <laughs> Everyone in the background. Oh! And she didn't suck this ma mana, I think. <laughs> Let's go. The suck. Bad news. Rex went crazy. You always need to help. God damn, dude. Don't do drugs, kids. Pew pew finger gun. Does nothing. And this weird T Rex. No, it is on him. What the fuck? Oh, I see a bra. <laughs> what is this sh oh, shit? Goddamn. Does he have some kind of stone magic? Or maybe he just protected himself with some stone skin shit? Revenge. Damn, they really like want to show her off with their cleavage. They really go all in on it. All in. <laughs> Yeah, he gets devoured by hate. Now comes his T-Rex again. Yep. Oh. Oh, is this maybe demonic energy? Oh, here's the student council president. Okay. She looks like as if she's a duck running. Spinning slices. Judgment sword. 
ジャッジメントソード。絶対正義の名のもとに。あなたは処罰しますし。ついて。Or is he standing up again? It's like. Off we go! Round two! Yep, here we go! Round two! Off 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 we go! Round two! あの力がどういったものか知っているのではありませんか Some demonic shit, maybe? さあね、mm-hmm. Is she telling Alto, maybe? 現状犠牲者は5人レックス・フォワードの件で一つはっきりした一回の件を見るにおい話はまだ終わって Is she going to Rex maybe now? I don't know. 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 あの恐竜野郎に俺のせいだってのかーってまたつっかからねえ。I mean, he will come back to normal, so then he would be like that. あいつが起きたとき、これで一緒って突きつけてやるのよ。それにちょっと疲れたから、先に部屋に帰っていいかい ?She wants to do something. 体調悪いなら僕も。She wants to think about it, maybe. いいや。らしいわね。あの女がついてこないのか。Yeah, because she has a guess what's going on. Some demonic stuff or like some. <laughs> she is desperate. Oh my god, this is creepy. She wants, she wants the alto juice too. Oh, there's the professor. Professor Douche. Don't tell me he wants to do experiments with her too now. Don't you dare. Does she have a guess? Can she see through him? Oh! <laughs> Woman intuition. Crazy eyes. For a while. Ooh. She's ahead of the curve. そいつらで何する気かなんて知ったこっちゃないけどさ、本はいい。<笑>そいつは人間の手には余る力だ。知ったこっちゃないって。一応、忠告はしたからね。She just wants Alt to be safe. アルトに手を出してみろ。There we go! やつざきにしてやる。<笑>なるほど。I guess that turns him on. これが本物か。おお、holy shit。確かに。あなたから見れば。分かったんなら、さっさとやめな。そんなもん追い続けたって。ろくなことにならないよ。Yeah, I guess that turns him on. いえ。低級でいいんですよ。今から本物が。Motherfucker! How, dude, how? How can she fall for that? I hate this. Okay, what dumb shit will happen? Oh my god, she's so thirsty! What does one have to do with the other? Why does he have to undress? What are they doing? What are they learning or training for? Uh oh, he realized that something is going on. Oh. Oh, go oh no, she goes on a ramp rampage or what? Oh, yeah, a rampage. Oh my god. She's out of control, maybe. And his affection for her has to save her, I guess. Is that what's going on? I hate stuff like that in anime. She also senses it. 
G2. Question is, will we see it in this episode or will it be like a cliffhanger? They all realize it. Because she goes all out right now. <sighs> Everyone senses it. Did I saw panties? And there's... She, see, she could... She could avoid it. Why couldn't the maid do it? So th did the professor to try to get to her too? <clears throat> oh, it goes back together. I think it's some kind of teleportation. Oh no, what? What is this? What the fuck is this? Did she transform? What the fuck is going on? Can she please kill him? Rampage and kill him. Yeah, he's really turned on about this. Come on, kill him. Is he trying to take control over her, maybe? So that he can have full control over her? Yeah, okay, cliffhanger. Bruh! Okay, this might become a rant now. Um, let's start with the end. I didn't like it. Um, it's such a cliche thing, I would say, that you have, like, your character you like or you love, depending on how much you like the character, and then some bad, dumb shit happens to them, which pulls them apart, and you don't know what happens. Some, either they get taken away, or they get controlled or whatever, and do some bad shit, and I hate it. If I watch an anime that is, like, based a, a based around bad sh bad stuff happening and stuff, I'm fine with it. But in this, so far, the first few episodes uh, were all about, like, being pretty much more like slice of life, happiness and all that stuff, bonding with the main alto and all that stuff. And now we have, like, the professor putting the syringe in her neck, putting that shit in her that makes her go crazy. And I guess he wants to take control over her completely, maybe. Um, maybe he tries to break her contract with alto to take to force a contract on her to take control over her, maybe. Or maybe he wants to put a seal on her to take control over her or something. He wants to plan something because he is not just doing it that you have her rampaging now and that's it. Because, I mean, that wouldn't really do much for him, I guess. So I guess his plan is to take control or something. And so, yeah, I don't like that. If, because it's, for an example, High School DxD, when you have like season one, the end of season one, where you have the fight with... Phoenix Riser and then Issei gets completely beaten up by him and before and when Riser wants to do the final hit and kill him then Rias comes in and tries to protect Issei by promising Riser to marry him if he lets Issei get away. It's the same dumb shit, right? Something dumb, bad shit happens and suddenly one of the characters you like is taken away. It's a cliche. And I guess what happens next is that probably in the next episode uh, Vame will be rampaging and Issei, uh, and not, not Issei, uh, Alto comes in, gets maybe beaten up by all the stuff she does because she has no control. Or maybe even by the professor and then with the last strength he can muster he will bring Vame back to her senses by showing her his affection or whatever to her. And then everything is happy again. That's my guess. That's like the cliche thing that could happen. And so I guess that what's... That's what will happen. Um, and besides that, I think... Um, I mean, I think it's also like a bit... Uh, that the May could be so easily ambushed by him. Because her whole attitude is just like... Yeah, I warn you, you shouldn't do what you're doing. Um, but hey, as long as Alto is fine, I don't care. I'll do whatever you want. And then this weird paper thing flies by her. And it seems like he teleported right behind her and puts the syringe in her neck. It's. Uh, I think it's so dumb that she could be surprised that easily. I mean, I, I saw it from a mile away that it was happening, and it still happened. And, I mean, the 
yeah we i mean uh, and i mean besides that i feel like there wasn't much going on in the episode we had the, at the beginning the scene where they were shopping with a bit of kissing and stuff um and then the fight with the rex i think was completely unnecessary i mean we saw it basically at the end of the last episode and now they showed a bit more and dragged it out a bit and the quality quality wise it was like the lowest the show has been so far i would say uh, i think i feel like they could have wrapped it up a bit quicker keep it short and done instead it, it felt pretty dragged out and besides that that's basically all of the episode then we had like the student council meeting and then we went into the end scene basically where the shit happens and i mean there was this weird paper thing transforming into something and and stopping the uh, student council from interfering which that could be interesting i don't know what the fuck that is but i guess we will find that out maybe in the next episode or maybe not i don't know we just have to wait and see what it is but yeah definitely so far my least favorite episode the end definitely dropped it for me quite a bit because in in shows like this i i want to be more on the happy side i want to see the happy stuff right i won't, don't want to see my the two characters i like to see bonding i don't want to see them getting split apart by some dumb shit like this so yeah this because it's such a cliche thing for me at least in my opinion it really felt unnecessary i don't know i'm not happy with it but yeah, i guess we will see what will happen next like i said my prediction is aldo comes in gets hurt maybe but with his last strength he can pull together he shows us effect uh, shows his affection to the may and she gets uh cured or whatever you want to call it um but yeah if you like what you saw or if you want to support me leave a like subscribe or comment i would really appreciate it and it would really help me but yeah thanks for watching until next time bye bye